Hello everyone. Today we are going to understand how to launch Opera browser and launch a URL using Java with Selenium. So certain prerequisite that you should have some ID installed and Selenium libraries are set up and the browser is available. Now the most important thing to note is the Selenium, uh, the Opera browser does not work on Selenium 4 and above. So we need to use the libraries of Selenium version which is less than 4. Okay. So I'll just quickly show you how to get that. So if you go on this website selenium.dev and navigate to the download section and here when we like let's say I'm trying to work with Java so here we are able to see 4.1.0 so that is not going to work with Opera. If I scroll below you'll see the link for the previous releases so I'll just click on releases and here you'll be able to wait one second. I click on this and uh, here it is going to give you all the previous releases as well so any version before 4 so 3.1.3.141 and before versions those are going to work so I have downloaded uh, Selenium 3.141 specifically for Opera browser and I have imported those library files so if uh, if uh, the Opera browser is giving you issue Opera launch is giving you issue try to see if you are using the right version or not so that is the first thing. Now the second thing is when you are working, whenever you are working with any particular uh, browser, you need to have that browser's driver downloaded. Okay. So how to get that? Uh, you can click on downloads and most likely in the browser section, we will have Opera listed as well. So yeah, here it is listed. You can click on this link and this will give you the link where all the drivers are located. Now, the most important thing to note is whichever driver version you are going to use that needs to be compatible with the browser version as well as the Selenium version. So we need to use the Selenium version less than 3 and then based on whatever version of Opera you are using, you need to download the applicable driver. Okay, so here you see 112 is there and then for the other versions you are not able to see. So you just need to click and you will be able to find the previous releases driver paths. Okay. Now, based on what type of machine you have, Linux, Mac or Windows and 32-bit, 64-bit, you can download that particular file. Just click on this and it will download in a zip version. Then you can extract this and put it into a path where uh, you are going to refer it for your script. Okay. I have already placed in, in a certain path, so I am going to use this. Okay. Now, our initial setup is ready and we are good to get started with the script. So, see, in this particular uh, project, my reference libraries, as you can see, is version 3 of selenium okay so make sure that you're using that now right click on this click on new class and we are going to talk about opera browser launch and i'll select this option public static void main and i'll click on finish now let me maximize this and here the first thing we need to do is system dot set property now system.set property we have to pass two parameters first in double quotes i'll mention web driver dot opera dot driver and in the second parameter i'm going to pass the path of the driver file okay so here i've kept my driver file now i'll copy this path so this path is leading to this file which we want to refer so we are going to mention this as well manually opera driver dot exe so i'll put this here and I'll put a double forward slash opera driver dot exe and then you have to put a semicolon in the end okay now in the second line we have to mention web driver w and d needs to be caps driver is equal to new opera driver now this this thing needs to be placed uh, mentioned as I am mentioning and these two lines are perfectly fine to launch the browser. So as we can see that it is giving error we have to just scroll above this and you will be able to see an import option from openqa.selenium so just click on that and this error will be gone. Similar thing for opera driver just scroll above this and you will be able to see this option. Now if you are working with the uh, version above 4 if you scroll above this you won't be able to see the import option. Okay. Now we'll quickly check this if our browser is getting launched or not. So I'll click on run.
and as you can see the opera browser is launched okay so let me close this and let me close my console now uh, after we have launched the browser we got to send some url right so we can use driver dot get and we'll close this and then whatever url we want to launch that we need to mention in double quotes here okay now we can use this selenium dot dev slash download so i'll copy this and i'll paste this here it's always a good idea to copy paste so that the initial structure is tps colon double forward slash double dot is mentioned correctly okay now somehow this one extra this thing is there so that's why this is giving error now this is perfectly fine for us to launch this particular url i'll quickly check this click on run it has launched the browser and it has sent the url as well and our page is loaded okay now uh, since the page is getting loaded into a minimized mode, a very easy way is driver dot manage dot window dot maximize and we'll just close this and now we'll just check this out. So our browser should get maximized as well while launch after launching the URL. So it is launched then it is maximized as well. So since so this video we are going to just cover how to launch opera browser and uh, send a url to this i'm going to wrap this session up in case you find this content helpful do like share and subscribe and let me know if you have any other questions as well in the comment section have a great day bye bye thank you